thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss a question from a linear inequalities. We've been told to solve the following inequality and state the integral solutions. In other words, you'll be told to state the integral values satisfying the inequalities. So what we're going to start with is to split uh, this uh, compound inequality into two into two statements which are simultaneous. Therefore, the first statement will be from the first term up to the term just before the last inequality sample. Therefore, the first inequality will be running from half up to and including 4 out of 3. Therefore, I'm going to have the first inequality as half. This is 24 minus 4x greater than 6 into 3x minus 4 out of 3. That is where the first inequality ends. Then the second inequality begins just after the first inequality sign, Paul. After the first inequality sign up to the last term. So from 6 up to and including 3x. So that is how the second pair or the second part is going to be. So 6, 3x minus 4 out of 3, then greater than or equal to negative 2 over 3. This is going to be 42 plus 3x. This becomes the second that becomes the second inequality. Now the pair of inequalities can be solved simultaneously, whereby each will be simplified into a simple statement. We're going to have a half opening the brackets here to give us in the first inequality, 12 minus half multiplied by negative 4 will give us 2x greater than 18x minus 6 multiplied by this will be negative 8. Negative 8. Because this is a... Um, yeah, negative 8. Because by 3 we'll have 2. So negative 8. Uh -huh. Then we can simplify further. Whereby we'll group like terms together. Negative 2 can go to the side where we have 18x. And it will become positive. So... It will be 20x. Negative 8 to the other side, we will find 12. And negative 8 becomes 12. So this will be 20. The first simple inequality is going to be 1 greater than x. 1 greater than x. So we can go to the next inequality. The next inequality and in this case, we are also going to open brackets. So when this part is opened, we will get we will get a mm -hmm, eighteen x minus eight greater than or equal to greater than or equal to. We open here negative two thirds negative two thirds by forty two. This gives us negative twenty eight negative 28 then this will be negative 2x negative 2x now we can group like terms together again negative 2x coming here to find 18 will be 20x greater than or equal to negative 8 going to the other side to find negative 28 negative 8 becomes positive and we'll have negative 20 so that x is greater than or equal to negative 1 when you divide through. So we can now uh, rearrange the inequalities to have if x is greater than or equal to negative 1, it means negative 1 is less than or equal to x. That means if 1 is greater than x, this means x is less than 1. So we can have it as x less than 1. So this is now the solution to the inequalities. But we can now state the integral solutions, the integral solutions whereby negative 1 is included 
because the upper limit is negative 1, that is the lower limit, the upper limit of the values of x is 1, but 1 is not included. So we begin from negative 1, the next value is going to be 0, this is the next value but it is not inclusive in the range, therefore we will only have negative 1 and 0 as the integral solutions to the inequalities provided. Thank you for following, subscribe and share.